Supernovas are the most amazing and important event in nature. Amazing at what they are, as are the most powerful explosive events in the universe. And important for the initiate life in the creation of the elements that we and all life here and possibly life beyond are made of. Today, more amateurs are seeing an image in supernova than ever before. Thanks, of course, to the electronic media we have now. Also adds to the fact equipment used by amateurs today far exceed those of yesteryear, both visually and photographically. So when you're observing or imaging, and you see something stellar in a galaxy, take note and check an older image of that particular galaxy. Hey, you never know. On August 14th, my wife and I and a couple CAS members headed to our local darkest observing site. The moon set was around 12.20 a.m. They were usually very dry on top of the mountain, but did have some heavier dew than I've ever dealt with before. Transparency was pretty good though, as was the scene. We took our 6 inch f6.5 refractor and 22 inch f4.5 dob. As the moon bid us adieu, we first went after NGC 7250 and its supernova with a 22 inch dob. As I guided the large scope to the area using an 80mm finder, I first found NGC 7248 with a 20mm super wide field eyepiece in the focuser. I inserted an 11mm ultra wide field eyepiece, and this neat little spiral galaxy showed a very bright small nucleus, and the galaxy overall has an oval shape to it. Heading east, and there was NGC 7250. The first thing that sticks out is a bright 11th magnitude star to its south, with a supernova on its northern edge and very prominent. The galaxy has an elongated shape with a bright long core area. Best view is with a 7mm ultra wide field eyepiece, and that was used for the sketch. Later on, I used the 6 inch refractor for the observation of M74 and its bright current supernova. I first entered the galaxy using a 24.5mm super wide field eyepiece. Inserting a 9mm super wide field eyepiece was used for the observation and sketch. M74 showed a very large, low surface brightness round disk with a slight brightening in the core area. The supernova stood out well in the outer southeast region of the galaxy. Seeing a supernova is wonderful for observational astronomers, and having two fairly bright supernova at the same time is a special treat. Well that's it for this special edition of Galaxy Log. Clear dark skies and happy galaxy observing. Also remember, there's an amazing universe all around us. Explore. Special thanks to the Chesmont Astronomical Society, dedicated to observational astronomy for more than 25 years, and to the music of Dave Luxton.